happy to be able to feature a portrait of Sojik Su. It's actually a designated treasure in Korea. And it's a portrait of Mr. So, who was a county magistrate in the Choson period, um, actually in a Confucian, I would say, persona. What we can see from this painting is that Sojik Su really identified himself as a new Confucian scholar. So he's dressed in, um, you know, very simple and rather stark colours, um, just a cream um, off-white robe um, with a black hat. And this also brings us to the inscription that he had written on the top right corner of the painting. Um, the inscription tells us that this was the work of two of the most famous court painters of that era, Kim Hongdo as well as Lee Myung Gi. So Yi painted the face and Kim Hongdo painted the body. But despite you know, having two of the most famous artists um, and most skilled painters work on this painting, um, So himself felt they did not quite capture his mind or his inner spirit. Um, and he seems to be a little unhappy with that. This is unusual because most Choson portraits feature, you know, the protagonist um, seated. So it's more unusual to find a full-length um, portrait of someone um, standing. And the other thing I think which I like about it is the fact that we get to see um, Sojik Su in his socks. And that is really quite a private and intimate moment. So through this portrait, um, I think we can enter into the world of the Yangban literati, who were the aristocratic class of Choson society. Um, and I think it allows us to have a more intimate um, glimpse. And I think all of that would make for um, a richer and deeper understanding of Choson art and culture.